XL20 once again here hitting you up with um, Bad Girls Club episode 9 recap um, of what I just saw. Actually, um, I have mixed feelings about this episode. I liked it because of the, it, it brought back the more confrontational drama that I like. I like when people are confrontational. I like when people um, confront their... <clears throat> their feelings about what's going on like confront that shit you know not the the, the little um bad talking bad mouth and shit they've been doing in the past couple of episodes where they've been sitting there little what i used to call the bitch ass corner of the house where all those girls sitting there and smoke tiffany sarah whitney boston and them sitting there and talk shit about the ambers you know actually bring that shit to light what i don't like now, you know, what, like I said, what I did like about the episode is when you confront the situation, you bring it to light, whatever. What I don't like about the episode, what I cannot stand, is the fact that there are following guppy-ass bitches who only come, you know, don't confront the situation when someone else is confronting them, you know. You know, if you don't like someone, let me, let me explain like this, if you don't like somebody, right and you and they do something that you don't like confront it then be a real ass bitch and confront it then don't wait until your homegirl has a problem with them and then um then when their homegirls are confronting them then you want to come up and say something too bitch what the fuck is that that's fake and that's called being a follower and a guppy that's why that's what me and my friends call it me and my girls and my homeboys we call it guppy ass bitches and there's some guppy ass bitches in the fab four slash five as tiffany said in her blog um I know that a lot of y'all think that I really hate on Tiffany a lot, and the, uh, to be honest with you, I'm not hating on her, but yeah, I target her a lot, because she claims to be the realest person in the house. She no bitch. By far, she is the fakest. To me, she's the fakest. Um, <laughs> she's the fakest in the sense that she is not real about being fake. At least the other girls are real about being fake. I expect the other girls to be fake. I expected more of her. I liked her at the beginning of this season. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. Well, I actually liked someone at the beginning of the season and then they flip-flop on me. That pisses me off about their character. That shows a lot to me about their character. Don't sit here and act like you were the realest bitch in the season when KC was there. And then when KC's gone, you want to act like you the baddest and the fakest ass bitch. Whatever. Y'all get mad because the Ambers have talked about y'all. Okay, the Ambers did talk about them. The Ambers have. Amber M has. Amber B has. You know. Amber B more so, more so than Amber M. Anything that Amber M has said, she said to people's faces. Aaliyah, why the hell you get mad because you think, <clears throat> because they said something about your man, Kevin. They've been said something about Kevin way back when. Like, what, episode four? This is like a long time, long ass time ago. Why are you still and up and surprised about it? And besides, FYI, you dumb, stupid bitch. Your friends have actually said shit about it too. Sarah, uh, Kayla when she was there, Boston. They said ugly shit about you and your man too. But whatever, y'all want to uh, channel your aggression to Amber because y'all think that the Amber is a weak. Fine, you know. I do feel that Amber B is weak, but I don't think Amber M is weak. Whatever. Um, um, when Amber B, it was mostly about Amber B and her troubles. Like, Amber M wasn't really doing shit this episode, but yet she caught the heat of it because she's best friends with Amber B. What the fuck is that? Like, the, the, the Fab, the Fab Five is just pissing me off. I don't like them. If I was on the show, I just might walk all, each and every one of their asses. I do it all at the same time because I really don't think them bitches get fight all at the same time. I do it all at the same time. I say Tiffany's last, actually. I go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to Tiffany just to see how she can do. But the rest of them, I fight them all at the same time. I don't, it would be no mind to me. Amber B just couldn't catch a break on this episode, y'all. I was like, damn, let the bitch catch a break. She couldn't catch a break in this episode. Bitches would just, damn, they would just lay into her ass. Like, to be nice Is and she? keep um, Ashley's purse so nobody wouldn't steal the purse and, and all this stupid shit and, and um, Ashley actually flips the fuck out on um, Amber for doing it and then she apologizes to Tiffany and them for her flipping out. Why the fuck are you apologizing to Tiffany and them? Why aren't you apologizing to Amber for holding your damn purse? I would've took that purse and slapped the shit out of her with it. Honestly fuck your damn purse. I would've took a piss in her purse. Stupid ass bitch. And then there was a whole, okay, they did the whole, um, 
In the beginning of the episode, they put gummy bears everywhere. They put gummy bears everywhere, whatever, whatever. Um, the Amber's being the Amber's. I would have not been mad at them. I would have been annoyed because they put gummy bears on my shit. And yeah, I would have played a prank back on them. The the prank that they did went to a, a whole nother level. Like, they messed with their shoes and shit, yo. They, like, you know... They took that shit to a whole nother level. They put oil and shit in their face stuff, which can fuck somebody's face up. You know, dermatologists talk about that shit all the time. I mean, like, you don't do shit like that. That would have caused them to get their ass whipped, period. Don't play that type of prank on me. I know I play a prank on you, but my gummy bears versus you fucking up my face cream? What? What? Why is it always the people who are, I wouldn't say weak, per se, or innocent, or meek, because Amber's are not innocent and meek by far. I still love them to death. I love them more. Those are the two girls I love more on the show right now. And, um, I still love them to death. And, but I wouldn't say they were, I never said, and I never said they were innocent, or meek, or any, kind of, any shit like that. But why are the ones who kind of, um, that everybody else feels are weak, do they are the ones who get ganged up on all the time? If you want to prove that you're a bad bitch, why don't you go up against the top dog? That's a question for you. Why not go up against the top dog? Why not go up against the? Don't go up against everybody. The same person that everybody else is going up against. That doesn't make you a bad person. What makes you a bad person is that you going up against the the, the the person who thinks they're the top bitch. And honestly, the embers weren't there. If the Ambers weren't there, if the Ambers weren't on the show, I would honestly feel like, um, I honestly would feel like, um, they would, um, I'm trying to get my words together. I honestly feel like the Fab Five would not like each other. I honestly didn't think that some of them wouldn't like Aaliyah. I honestly think that Aaliyah wouldn't get along with them. I honestly think that Ashley wouldn't get along with them. And I honestly think that Boston and, and um, and Sarah might click. I mean, um, fall out. <clears throat> if the Ambers went there without KC as well. But since the Ambers are there and that's the target right now, that's going to be their target. So they go out to the club and get into some big whole fight with some people there. Um, some people at this club. And what the hell? Aaliyah takes this, this situation as a time to... Um, before that, let's get on Sarah's case. Sarah is a fake ass bitch. She is always talked about everybody behind their back. She's always had something to say, just like Tiffany. Sarah and Tiffany are fake, the fakest people in the house. Sarah is always, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Sarah out because Sarah is always, she, she has always had something to say about everybody in the house. I'm saying, you know, everybody wants to act like Sarah is so real and everything like that. And why Sarah, Sarah, yes, Sarah went off on Amber B this episode, but why when, um, Amber B went to get the medicine and everything like that, you gonna wait? You gonna sit there and say I'm not gonna talk about it right now? But when Amber B leaves the room, you gonna sit there and talk all this shit about her? And she came. And Amber B came back and told me I heard you when you was in the fucking place. I heard you when I was in the fucking hallway. Sarah told me I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about it right now. I'm not gonna talk about it right now. Mm, just, mm. Oh, oh, y'all, Jesus, y'all. I'm. You know I'm. I'm still watching this show because of y'all. But these bitches get on my nerves, these simple ass bitches. And um the ending scene to me was the one that just pissed me off because everybody I like I said, I like it because it was confrontational. Tiffany decided she wanted to confront them on shit that was said. First of all, why are y'all antagonizing each other about things that they said? You know what I'm saying? If you were a true friend, you wouldn't be doing that shit. You wouldn't be doing it just to get a rise out of someone out of your friend to want them to fuck someone up. Oh, she said that, the Amber said that you're a gold digger. The Amber said this, the Amber said that. What about what y'all said about Ashley? Nobody ain't calling that out. What about what y'all said about, um, Kayla? No one ever called out what y'all said about Kayla. I mean, on the other, that one episode where Tiffany got mad about K at Kayla for talking about her, Tiffany didn't talk, Tiffany talked about Kayla the whole, se the whole season. And I don't want to backtrack on everything that I said about Kayla and everything like that because I still think that Kayla has serious issues. I still think she's a bitch. I miss her. I never thought I would say this, but I miss Kayla. And it looks like Miss Kayla is coming back next episode. And from the way it looks, she might be on the Amber side. So, um, 
we'll see. Cause like they ganged up on the Ambers, they, they got a little victory. They ganged up on the Ambers. They did little guppy following ass bitches. No one couldn't address the situation one at a time. No one couldn't address the situation sober either. They were all like drunk. So they ganged up on them. They got that. They accomplished that. Let's see what happens next episode when the Ambers get Kayla back or however that's gonna work out. I don't know, but. I just don't think that Caleb, Miss Kayla is going to be too um, thrilled to see some people in the Fab Five. But we'll see you until then. Guppy ass bitches. You see that shit?